Everybody knows about guns. And everybody in the little villages is scared about duens. When I was a young guy growing up by St. Mad Cemetery, it had duens. It had duens all by the school because when we was going to school, we used to see them. It's like little children. We see them when we tell your parents we see them, they say it's duens, you see? They're just looking like ordinary little children, but the foot twists wrong. The duen is a little creature of the forest. He is supposed to be a young child who died before he was christened. And his objective, because his childhood is unfulfilled, his objective is to come and see other children and try and lure them into the world of duens. These duens, um, of course, they were supposed to be little toddlers, toddlers size beings. They usually wore big umbrella hats. They look almost like giant mushrooms and their feet pointed in the opposite direction. Dwens again is one of those major control factors to stop your children from wandering off because uh, we were all told if you hear anybody calling you in the bush, don't go. And they always sound like children playing and making a sound like whoop, whoop, whoop. It laughter, lots of laughter and so on. So like the little children would hear this and go to investigate and it would keep receding and receding until the child disappeared. They are able to deal on the two poles. Few forces are able to stand up on the positive side and the negative side simultaneously. They can be on both sides whenever they want. Forces that I know of that can enter into these two spheres is duens, what people call riri. If a child, a beautiful child is born, and dies as after all infant mortality was huge everywhere in, in the pre-industrial world then again you you look for evil forces who snatched this child from you um, and so a world of taboos and things you couldn't do and fear of the unknown fear of danger fear of malevolent forces i think that would be part of the folk beliefs of virtually every pre-industrial rural folk. Obviously it would take different forms and here the dominant religion of the people would come in. So in predominantly Christian countries then the folklore would be infused with Christianity. I have a theory and the theory is this. In the 1850s Great Britain ran a blockade against Portuguese slave traders in the Atlantic Ocean and Several thousand Africans were taken off slave ships that were bound for Brazil, that was a Portuguese territory of the time, and they were brought to Trinidad. It is said that they brought with them a tradition of the spirits of children who had died in infancy. They came to Trinidad at a time when there was a series of very serious cholera epidemics, and infant mortality was very, very high, and many children died. And the story that came out of that was that if your newly born child became ill, you had to rush to have it baptized because if it died before it was baptized, it would become a type of living dead and haunt other children. <laughs> 